Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series, Neurovoider. You can kind of tell when it's not moving all around the screen. Neurovoider is a game that's been out for a long time, but it's recently out on PlayStation 4 and Xbox. Well, depending on when this video goes up. Out on Xbox March 17th, uh, PlayStation the 14th, so it'll definitely be out. But the game is a twin stick shooter, much like a little gem you might know on my channel called Enter the Gungeon. Also like Nuclear Throne. It seems pretty interesting so far. I played only 25 minutes of it to tr try to figure out the game and it seems like it's going to seem pretty like complicated and like it's throwing a million things at you. But I think I'm starting to get it and I think you guys are gonna like it. So it is, let's start a new game. Boop. Wait, how do I go back? Why does it say I have progress? Okay, well, there's three difficulties. I think we should just go with Rogue for Rogue Light fans, because that's uh, what I am. So anyways, I think it is a multiplayer game, which is pretty neat. But we are going to go ahead and play single player, because I am one person. We have three classes to pick from. These are our basic, like, loose characters. There's uh, somebody with a dash, somebody that has the, like, you have two weapons, and you have the ability to fire both of them at the same time. This person can deactivate itself to create a super shield. I actually haven't played this one, so that's why I read it word for word. So this is like a tank, brawler, and a zip around kind of, I don't know. I'm going to play the zip around kind of person because they remind me the most of Gungeon. So you get to pick that, and then you get to pick one of 20 freaking seven skills. Which is, like, too much to get shown right away. So what are we going to do? We're going to pick the one that is most like Enter the Gungeon, because I'm familiar with it. Bullet Wiper just... Gets rid of all of the bullets on the screen. It's basically a blank. Well, if we play this a bunch, I don't know what what will happen with this series. If it'll go on for a while, but if we play it a bunch, we'll learn what all the other ones are. For today, we're just gonna take the simple stuff. So another interesting thing about this game is we do get to pick our destination here, and we're given three choices, but we can also like re-roll which choices we get and stuff like that. There's a lot of options, but we're gonna go with. Frostbite? I don't know. It seems seems the most middling. But anyways. So it's kind of like Enter the Gungeon, kind of like Nuclear Throne, but you're kind of building your character in a sort of different way. Right now we have a head, like a head, legs, um, what is it? There's something else. A head, body, legs, two weapons. And we're going to be able to do, like, just build ourselves up with scraps that these guys drop. Kind of like creating our own mech in kind of a cool way. So the reason I say it kind of seems... Oh, this is... We're sliding around because it's ice. That makes sense. Um, the reason I say it kind of might seem a little complicated is because there's crafting, the, like, inventory management, all kinds of... Oh, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to get hit so many times. All kinds of that stuff that uh, normally turns me off to a game, like, because there's a lot of it. But they do add a lot of ways to streamline it. So right now, we are going around and we want to destroy all of the reactors. That is how we're going to be able to move on to the next level. So we got our main fire weapon. These are currently our weapons. Main fire weapon. And our secondary is actually uh, like a sword. That is pretty decent if we can get up close. Oops, hold on. Okay, we got our dashes on spacebar. That is our class specific ability. Because we cho uh, chose the smaller, squishier character. They're a little bit more mobile. Zip, zip. And then we also have ooh, our blank. I'll call it a blank ability. On shift is what I put it on. Usually it's on left alt. I had to move around the controls because it was. Oh, jeez. It's a bit wonky for me. But I think it is intended mostly for use on, uh, or, well, mostly for play on, like, console. You know, twin stick shooters typically work really well with controllers, but it's never really been my thing. We're getting a lot of loot that seems good, I think. It's, you know, it's based off of the typical color system, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Like, ooh, okay. Like, different colors have different levels of uh, how good they are. So there we go. We're done with the first floor. Gotta teleport out. 
And now we're in the second part, the inventory management part, which seems so overwhelming, but I promise you it's simpler than you think. So we got, oh, that's cool. But this is for a different class. So that's the thing is if we want to be the same class, I think we, let's, let's switch. So we'll switch class so we can use that just because it looks so cool. So what we can do is scrap everything that's not for our class. That just instantly makes it more easy to look at. So scrap all other classes. Okay, so now what do we want? Which is better? Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> Overheat? So basically, what, what should I want? I think I kind of want health. This seems better at health. So we'll go for that. And then scrap the other. There's like, there's a little bit more inventory management than I would want, but it is it's pretty fun to create your own character. It's sort of what you're doing in between these levels here. That seems pretty good. I want that. So that's our main weapon. And then let's get a secondary here. That seems pretty good. I love that it, ooh, oh, you know what? I actually really like this laser. I've had it before. Okay, so now, scrap all other items. <laughs> and you can even craft stuff. I just, oh, we're not gonna do that right now. It's, it's too much. Too much for how early we are in, in learning this game. Let's just go to the next level with our adorable new character. Sub Furnace Station. So this place has really good loot. I think we just... Makes the most sense to go the one with the best loot, I guess. I don't know. Use skip to tokens to skip levels and go faster to the boss. This can be useful if your build is good. Hmm. Alright, so let's see our weapons here. Ah, uh, we're so cool! Can we go through here? No, okay. I really do like our face as well. But yeah, this laser, I had it in my 20 minutes that I played. Oops. And it was so nice. Ooh. That's a pretty neat ability. I kind of like it. Also, I think as a fortress, we get a little bit more health. Do we reflect bullets or just block them? <laughs> but yeah, this laser is so, f so fun. Like, I, I was a little bit uh, unsure about the game. Like, within my first five minutes of playing, I was like, why are you throwing this much information at me? But I think that uh, once you get the run going and you kind of get into the character you're making, it's really... It's really something fun. Neuro Voider. Did I, did I even say the title? I think I did. <laughs> so that's that level. Intermission. We did pick up too much stuff, so I don't think we have, like... That looks like Wally. But yeah, I, I think the smart thing to do is just right away throw away everything that you're, um, that's not your class so that you don't have to look through as much. Unless you're like wanting to switch to a different class. What is the difference between these really? Okay, and I know that there's a way to upgrade your parts as well. It's just, there's, there's so much. Ooh, okay, we'll, we'll take that. Let's just see, is there anything else that's, all right. Should we forge something? What would we forge? I, our, I think our core isn't very good. This one doesn't necessarily seem better though. All right, whatever. Okay, let's just move on. We could we could spend a lot of time min maxing in there if we wanted to, but I think that's for a later date. Okay, so how, how do we skip? We can skip by doing that. We don't have any, do we? No. Let's go to the graveyard. I guess there's two, but. 
This game is cucumber free. All right. That is good to know. Jeez. Seems good. Does it like poison them? Yes, it does. I would think that that would maybe be pretty good against like a boss. A lot of screen shake going on. As somebody who has played a lot of twin stick shooters though, didn't really look like it by just the way I walked into all those shots, but somebody who's played a lot of twin stick shooters, I'm used to the screen shake. But there's probably a way to turn it off that maybe I should look into. Or turn it down at least. Oh, that is explosive. Kinda looked like a chest or something. Okay. And I'm I'm really interested to see the boss. I actually didn't play enough to get to the boss. Whoop. So I think that 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 is always like a really big uh, determinant of whether or not I'm gonna like a game, um, like a twin stick shooters. You know, like how good the bosses are and how interesting they are. But also, you know, just how fun it feels to shoot lasers around. It's so it's so fun. Like I think this weapon could be better than the other one, but the laser's just so fun to use. The way it's got like a little delay. It's just, it feels satisfying. The blank doesn't seem awesome. The blank ability. It doesn't take too long to get it back, though. The arc to this is kind of turning me off to it. Teleport? Other classes. Other classes. Ooh. That's got a lot of health. Oops. All right. Ooh. Oh! That's neat. Uses things up real fast, though. I think I'll try it. I think I'll try it. It seems interesting. Should we upgrade something? Let's upgrade our laser. Boost. This uses uh, your scrap or your credits or whatever. I think we can do it a whole bunch. Oh, can't do it anymore. We can also repair ourselves with the scrap, but we're at full health. So I think we just leave use the hell out of our laser. Self-destruct in three minutes. Uh, mm. So this is like a challenge thing. So we also, if we finish that, we would get a skip. I think for now, I would rather just go to the sewer. And then after this, if we win, we're supposedly going to fight our first boss. Ooh. Eesh. That, yeah, that rips through our energy really fast. Everything you can do, all your abilities, use up... Okay, so we can reflect. Use up your EP, like your energy power. So you gotta manage that pretty well. Ooh. And I think it's really important to have like a, a... Obviously, I don't know yet. But it seems important to have a, a weapon that's efficient with it, and the one that maybe is a little bit more powerful. But uses use it up real quickly. Uh, this shield seems like hyper valuable. I, I think it probably the strongest ability. I know we didn't really see too much of the dash. Uh oh. I saw people walk through here. Is there a secret room? I'm just using this to scout out. Nope, it's just like a little cove. Oop. Viewfinder. We're getting a lot of loot here. Visor and a move. Ooh! Okay. So there's two reactors here that we gotta find. 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, because we can't use our shield until that's... Back. Oh, my God. We're taking a lot more damage here than normal. So it's, it's really cool because there's all the abilities that you can pick right away that are all really unique. Whoop. You can, like... You can split it up by class right away. You can split it up with your abilities. And then you can choose your different weapons. You can play very differently, it seems. Like, you could very, very easily go for, like, a melee-focused build. If you wanted. Okay, so I think we gotta go to the other side of the map. You could very easily do it. Because I know there's one that makes it so when you kill enemies with melee attacks, you get health back. And there's some other melee ones I saw. So it seems really neat so far. Like, it took me a little bit to sort of get the visual idea of it. Like, I was I was kind of lost looking at it. But I think I'm getting it a lot more now. And, ooh, treating it as a sort of different game than Enter the Gungeon Nuclear Throne. It's a lot more... Uh, a lot more focused on building up, building up your pieces together than those games are. Okay, so we, we really want to get ready because we're fighting the boss next. Through to the other classes. Should we switch our head? No? Okay, other classes. Wait. 31. Let's just compare. So the line on the bottom is ours. Right? Yes. So we care more about health or speed? I think we actually might want to go more for speed. Because we are fighting a boss. I'm assuming it's going to be bullet hellish. I'm thinking maybe we want something long range. That looks pretty long-ranged. I want to get rid of that for it. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Sure. Should we try to find a better core? I don't know. Compare. Oh, that's better in every category. S scrap it. Okay. Maybe we should upgrade our weapon? The new one? Is this the right one? Yes. Boost. Boost! 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 Nope, we can't. I know we can boost every part, but I just I don't want to mess with that. Let's go for it. Let's fight the boss. Let's get our booty kicked. Or maybe kick booty. Unknown destination. Sewer. I wonder if there's different bosses or, you know, like, I don't know if you know what I'm saying, but if we're always going to fight the boss weak spot, I like how it says it. Okay, uh-oh. Uh. Okay, we're, we're overheated here. So I think we're going to need to... Oh, jeez. This is way tougher than I thought it would be. Let's get back up to the weak spot. The Thrasher family. Okay, so we need to get out... Get down all of them. Weak spot's down here. I like this. This is kind of cool. All right. Can we... All right. Shield. Uh... This is really tough. Okay, we gotta wait for our energy to come back. We gotta manage our energy better, but I'm so overwhelmed. Okay. And we gotta keep these ads down, too. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We're doing okay for hell. Might not be that way for long. This is not very accurate, this weapon. Oh, you got... Ah! I need to get back up there, but I'm getting pushed around! This is 
challenging. I keep on overheating. Maybe I need to care more about my energy level. There's health packs for if you kill the ads, there's health packs. Cool. Oh my god, I'm getting blown up. Can't aim for that weak spot very well. All right, this seems like a safe-ish area. Okay. Uh. Health pack. I can't tell if that's like, if we get that guy down Oh, jeez, how do we get over there? Okay. Woo! This is ridiculous. Ah! I need the ads to die. I'm overheated. This is crazy talk. Ah! I'm overheated. Oh, oh my god. I don't know if we just like built this wrong or if I'm just really bad or what. But this is crazy. Can we just like reflect all his shots back at him? Ah. Uh. Maybe the fact that we just don't have a long-ranged, accurate weapon is killing us. Come on, drop health. Thank you. There. There we go. Yes! I can't believe it! Oh. Oh god, oh god, oh god! I wasn't paying attention, I was so excited! That was rad. Okay, you know what? That was chaotic. That was like the absolute definition of bullet hell there. But... I like it. If I was like... We couldn't get through some of the areas because we were the large character. So that was interesting how they kind of balanced it that way. So you could like... There's some areas where I probably could have squeezed through if I was playing the, uh, the z character that can zip around more. Okay. Guess we'll put on that. Scrap that. Oh, it's so calm now. Got some new weapons, I s remember I saw. Ooh! What's the difference between these? This one's more energy efficient. I think we're gonna switch that. Which one was more? This one has, this one's more energy efficient. We'll put on that one. Let's just, okay. Scrap everything else. Still got our laser? Let's boost it. So we can't boost it up anymore after this. So if we want a better weapon, we're gonna want to find, like, we'll have to find one that's better than this fully upgraded one, or maybe just, like, take one that's temporarily worse. Let's repair, actually. That's a smart idea. Repair. Good enough. We look pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, that was my first time fighting that boss. It was so crazy. Ugh. All right, one second. Okay, should we go to the metaverse? I feel like we have a good build. I could be wrong. Let's give it a shot. Worst comes to worst, we get screwed over and die. Hmm, okay. This place looks really cool. Oh God, we gotta move, that's right. Self-destructing. Hold on, get out of my way. We gotta, like... Oh, jeez. This was maybe a bad idea. Alright, we gotta move. 
Okay, this was a really bad idea. Because I'm not a very fast character. Thank you for the med kit. I think... I think the, uh... Circles underneath these enemies determine how, uh... How strong of an enemy they are. Like, the red, I believe, is pretty, uh... Pretty beefy. I died. I believe the red is pretty beefy. Yeah, shoot. <laughs> Progression, 25%. Well, dang. So we shouldn't have done that. Good to know. Good to know. Compare. Total kills, elite kills, total damages, loot count. All right, well, that's good. <laughs> it's good to know. Now we know that that place is ridiculous. Like, we'll be a little bit more... <laughs> a little bit more flexible or less flexible with where we go daily run. So there's daily runs, there's seated runs. Oh man, it's got everything. Neuro Voider. I'm, I'm pretty interested in the game. Well, I'll definitely play a, a, a few episodes of this, so you'll, you guys will have to tell me what you think of the game if you want me to play more. Please let me know. Check it out. It's on PlayStation 4 today as of recording. So it's definitely out um, in for US for sure. And then Xbox on March 20, or 17th. Pretty sure. And it's on, it's on Steam right now. I'm playing it on Steam. It's on, had been on Steam for like half a year. Real, real interesting game. I like it a lot. It's very, very neat. After you get past the initial wave of information overload, I think the game is a whole lot of fun. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching. I greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on this series, especially since it's the first episode. Blah, blah. Preach, preach. Likes and comments, obviously important. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for even watching, though. That's good enough for me. Thank you. See you next time.